I like the part of this game where I can literally do nothing and still win. Plus, things die in the process, so that's a win-win. And since we've been gone, we saved up 8,439 octillion dollars. So that means we can buy Frostleaf, a new hero. That's going to bring our DPS from 205 to 1,423. And then we still have 8,439 octillion dollars. So what we're going to do right away is level up some heroes, because if I get Grand Tier to level 50, all my heroes' DPS goes up by 25%. So 10, 20. My number up here didn't really even move, and there we go. Not only can we gauge my damage by this number here, but how fast things are dying, because it's already noticeably quicker than when we started. People have also said that if I upgrade my basic heroes more, they have some cool skills, so we're gonna spend a few, you know, 100 million, billion, trillion, something like that, just upgrading heroes to get better skills. Like this one, increase DPS of all heroes by 25% again. Every time I find one of those, that's a huge damage increase, plus extra clicking damage. Why not? I just spent a ton of money, relatively speaking, to get King Midas up to this level so I can get increased my critical chance by 3%. Now let's make Refrigerator level 150. That was probably pretty expensive, and there we go, we increase our click damage multiplier by 3. And if we get Beastlord to level 100, we get the super click skill for 200% click damage for 30 seconds. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. How do we buy that many? Then logically, we're gonna upgrade Frostleaf 25 levels, and our numbers are starting to move, then another 25 levels to see what kind of skills he comes with. There is an extra 25% for all of our heroes. Plus, we'll just get him extra damage, because that clearly makes a difference to the enemies we're killing. While we're at it, let's give Grant the General another 100 levels, because I feel like he could potentially come with some new skills. Mm, no, that was a big waste of money. But I suspect we're probably also making quite a bit of money as we go. And I didn't even realize this was a boss fight. We're killing him every 0.5 seconds. And that's not good enough, so let's get another 25 levels for Frostleaf. I think we just played through the next boss and I didn't even see what it was. Oh, okay, it was one of those things. I'm gonna turn auto roll off just because I wanted to see exactly how quickly we were killing this idiot. And pretty quickly. Still take you about a second though, so that's not good enough for me. And for getting here, I get one Gilded Hero, the Ice Apprentice. And we're just gonna keep on track at level 133 we're tearing through that pretty quick, 134. And here's the boss at 135. We're definitely progressing pretty quick because that took almost 5 seconds to kill. I just remembered how many rubies I have, so we're going to buy 3 random gilded heroes. They're probably going to be garbage, but what else am I going to spend my money on? We're going to get uh, a Menotap, the Masked Samurai, and Aphrodite. Aphrodite definitely was the strongest of the heroes to get a boost, but I really want someone like Frostleaf or anything down below. So we're going to fight the Tentacle for now at level 140, and I don't know if we're even strong enough to kill this thing yet, and that's saying something because we're doing a lot of damage. 7,200 for septillion dps and if we want we can use ascension apparently that gives us mercenaries i don't know anything about that yet so we're going to grind level 139 until i'm strong enough to win and that's going to involve upgrading only frost leaf because even the next strongest hero now constitutes 0.26% of my total dps so i guess we'll use a time lapse and pretend we just actually waited 168 one full week absolutely give me that money i gained 20,507 uh no nillion i believe gold and that's still not enough for the dread knight so we could probably level him up uh 100 times yeah we can get a full 100 out of frostleaf that's probably going to be a pretty big boost to damage and look he gets four times damage at level 200 so if we get another 25 levels which we can't quite yet so i guess we're just gonna have to wait it out for a little while i also didn't realize that was actually skipping me ahead so we're at level 144 currently but i'll I really wanted was a level up for Frostleaf, which means we can kill bosses uh, this quick. King Loggernaut, who has a lot of health. He's actually putting up a pretty good fight considering our damage, but he dies. For 107 Ds, we could get another four times damage, but that's going to be so incredibly expensive that I don't think we can, at least not yet. And here's the 150 level boss. It's a coconut with an eyeball, and we're definitely taking him down quick enough. And we get a bonus to King Midas. We're going to get more while we're at it just because we can. Give me someone really, really good though. One, two, three. Brittany, Mercedes, and Shinatobi. Yeah, let's do it one more time. I can't resist now. Give me some really good ones. Those are not good. While I'm slowly waiting and saving up more money, I'm going to buy 100 levels for a bunch of older heroes that we can easily afford just because I need to see more of their skills to see if we can get any more damage anywhere. This one is cool. Doubles the effect of the next skill you use. Yes, please. And we made it to the next boss. We are going to kill him, but only barely. So we're running out of momentum. But we are making enough money off these that I am still actually showing a noticeable difference at the top. And we're up against big feats here at level 160. I don't 
know if we're going to be able to defeat him. It's not looking great. But then again, neither is he. We didn't kill him. It's not really even close. But here's what we're going to do. Energize to double the effect of the next skill I use. And then power surge for 100% DPS. So 200% DPS. This should be able to take him out with more than enough time left over. So we'll at least get through him and hopefully get a large monetary reward for that. And it just feels good to hit him. But there we go. We're done with about half our time left. I don't really know how much money that gave us because I don't really know how much money we're dealing with. But I did get an eyeball. Reached on 300 to unlock Transcendence. We are at 160, so we're probably not going to make it there very quickly. But oh yay, another Gilded George. And since we're making an increased amount of money, let's buy ourselves another time lapse. One week, just like that. That only got me through two zones, but it did give me 285 D gold. And now we're fighting a kitty cat, and we're not doing a lot of damage to that kitty cat. But we can buy another 25 levels for him, so he's going to get an extra 4 times damage, which gives us a pretty big damage boost overall. And I'm pretty confident that means that if we use Energize, with the double dps again and then go to the boss that's definitely going to make more than enough difference yep that one here alone is going to carry us through for a few more levels Frostleaf here doesn't quite get another 25 levels because we can't quite afford it at least for another week here's the next boss at level 170 it's a bat with a force field and then there's also a little bumblebee up here for some reason these bosses have uh octillions of health over octillion but you get the point it's a really big number we can't defeat him as is but if we get another 25 levels for frost leaf that mm, will definitely make the difference he does so much damage it's uh, actually kind of a joke not that i'm going to complain we're just going to keep on trucking just for the point of kind of demonstrating how much money i have i'm going to buy every skill for every hero up until this point because this probably isn't going to make one little bit of difference up top and yep that's it bought every single skill i possibly could still have 828d the regular enemies are dying pretty quickly 171 by 174 they're going to slow down a bit we got some more of those furry guys but they're kind of the melty version not like him you'll see in a minute or maybe we won't i don't really know you'll just have to take my word for it the level 175 boss is actually dying pretty quickly i think we'll just cruise right on through him somehow while we're at it we're going to take plus 100 gold dropped this is really only going to register for the boss in like the next few waves but that's fine i'm also going to spend uh 185 d which is like a quarter of my money to upgrade grant one more time but that actually like put his damage way up so he's actually making 18 percent of my dps suddenly that's a huge increase for comparison the next strongest hero is 0.00 percent of my total dps in comparison what happens if we put a hero to level 1000 these are the questions no one's asking, and nothing happens when they get to level 1000. The level 180 boss, apparently worth 6 hero souls, is also dying very quickly, so we're just going to do the double damage thing, and then he's going to melt. It's just that easy. We can even click him a few times if you want. He's dead. I did manage to get some cool gilded heroes, one being Grant the General, so that's going to give him a pretty good boost, and the Dread Knight, who I haven't even unlocked yet, but given that he gets a 50% boost already, that's pretty helpful. But Grant's gilded boost makes him 25% of my total DPS now. A few gems later, we finally got one for Frostleaf, so he's going to get a pretty big damage upgrade. Our total DPS now is 280 Octillion. The level 185 boss is some kind of floating demon wearing a scarf with a ton of health apparently. Not sure it's going to be very easy to get through this one. Okay, we failed to get past her, but I've got an idea. I'm going to activate 200% click damage, 1% uh, click for gold, 50% chance of critical strike, and an auto clicker. And wow, that's doing way more damage than I thought it was. <laughs> We've got a bunch of gold. All right, well, I like when things actually work the way I want them to. Uh, we're just going to keep on trucking then. And it turns out this works pretty good against just regular enemies too, because they're just melting. The level 190 boss is this giant thing. I don't have any of my skills up because they're on cooldown, but my auto clicker might be able to carry me through. Doesn't look like it's quite going to be good enough. And then again, I think we're actually making up ground thanks to a few well-timed critical hits. Yep, looks like he's gonna die. So that's fun. On to whatever's next. The Astral Plane. And for hitting 190, we get a Gilded Mazu. After gambling away some more gems, I got another upgrade for Frostleaf. So he by himself is doing 305 octillion damage per second, or 85% of my total. Now, the level 195 boss is a hat with a beard. He's also pretty strong. It's going to take a little bit of effort to get through him. I'm just kidding. We're just going to go energize and then 100% DPS. And that's actually still not good enough. So auto clicker it is, which is somehow more than good enough. Who would have known? All right, we'll stop that now and let the timer run out. I want a slow death for him. He's dead and it didn't really give us any reward, but it was satisfying killing a hat with a beard. And I'm assuming at level 200, there's going to be something extra hard to kill because it's a big 100 level. He's definitely not dying very quickly at all, so I might have to throw everything together to beat him. So that's pretty much what we're going to go do. Let's go all the way down the list. It's as easy as that, level 200, and he's dying very quickly. I thought that was going to be a little bit harder than that. 
Turns out this powers are pretty useful. How about the level 205 boss? It's a furry ball with a force field. Definitely a lot stronger than the last one is though. Luckily I did skip through an hour to get here so we've unlocked all of our powers again. So we're gonna do pretty much that same thing again. Definitely a slower death for this one but we'll get right on through them. It did take me about 13 seconds so I'm not optimistic about the next boss. Which at level 210 is a floating blob of jello with bones in it. Don't think their health bar is even moving at this point. So let's see what we can do about that. All the powers coming up and go oh yeah this one's gonna be a real problem i think we're gonna be able to kill him but only barely because we're coming up to the halfway mark right now and i don't know actually we might not get him it's gonna depend on critical hits four seconds three two one we didn't get him so what we're gonna do now is spend uh some of our 3627 decillion getting frostleaf four times damage which puts them back up to about 96 percent of our total dps and i can tell by the amount of time it's taking just to kill a regular enemy that that's not going to be enough by itself so after waiting for a short eight hours we're going to get the general another 25 levels because he's going to get four times damage out of that and then all of our skills are refreshed so all we got to do is click them all and then go on to floor 210 and we're going to walk right on through the boss suddenly it's amazing what a few little level ups can do. Good thing I had all those rubies. It would have taken a long time for us to make it this far. And I just realized when I try and buy 100 levels of things, I get units like you, but this one just has an exclamation mark. I feel like that's probably because he's just very exciting. Let's go ahead and skip to another, I don't know, week. And that leaves us here. I'm able to buy 25 more levels for Frostleaf, and then 25 more levels for Grant. And another 25 on top of that. What is this thing? It's a potato with a bow on its head. It is a boss. But we're doing quite a bit of damage to it, so I'm not that worried. Especially when I use my auto clicker. I expected the bosses to be a little bit tougher than this, but I guess we are quadrupling our damage basically every time we touch something. Regular enemy is pretty strong at 219. The boss on 220 is a furry cat. Who we're not anywhere near strong enough to kill right now, so you know the drill. Activate all of our powers and go say hi to the boss who dies within a matter of seconds. And so does everything else. Moving past the uh, peculiar kitty cat, what's at level 225? A skull with snakes in its eyes. Definitely very strong. We're hardly moving the meter, but what else is new? Again, we skipped through another eight hours just so I could reset all of my skills, really. So let's go see the boss. He's not dying as quick as the last one, but still beating him pretty handily and making some money in the process. And then there's this idiot, the grappling that wants to take all of my time because he doesn't want to die. We finally got into the use for currency. All I need is 10,000 U's and I can hire the Dread Knight, who's going to put my damage way over the top. So all we got to do is make it just a little further. Score pinch. Well, you know the drill. Hopefully we have the damage to actually kill it looks like we do but it's gonna be a little bit closer than i would like but once we get through him we should be able to save up enough money for the dread knight as long as my skills don't run out first and this should be a decent monetary bonus well it gave us one more u i just realized as i'm clicking through my powers i'm doing that wrong i was just clicking from bottom to top so i'm basically well i'm increasing my click damage but i should just be increasing my dps but like i always say if you wanted a professional you wouldn't be watching my channel in fact i'm not really sure why you are anyways level 235 we get another spiky ball in copernicus his health bar is not moving. So let's do it the proper way for once. Energize, DPS, then we click the rest of them. And then we'll go see the boss at 235. And I don't know if we're going to be able to kill him. You might have to upgrade some heroes. Never mind. He's actually pretty dead. I just skipped through an entire week and I didn't even get 1,000 U's. But we're a tenth of the way to the Dread Knight and that's pretty exciting. What's not exciting is a level 240 boss. That health bar is not really even moving. So we're going to try this again, but I don't know if we're going to be able to get through this without upgrading some more heroes. So very quickly, going to buy those and let's hope for the best. I decided to see if I could use my auto clicker alongside the game's auto clicker and that might actually be working. We're going to get through this boss anyway and that's what matters. This guy looks annoyed. And the boss at 245. Don't know if we're going to be able to do this without upgrading our heroes, but I really want to get the Dread Knight. So we're going to buy another 25 levels for Frostleaf, which did eat up a little bit of my money, but it wasn't that bad. The next level, however, would. But I'm banking on that upgrade to be able to carry us through the boss. We're about to find out who that is. 245, the giant crab. Then I'm going to use my auto clicker on top of that because I don't think we're going to make it without it. And he's dead and we got another 11 hero souls. So I'm having this really fun problem right now where I'm not sure if my auto clicker is on or off because there's a little bit of a delay. Never mind, I figured it out. No more auto clicker. 
I was getting worried though because obviously I can't mouse up my monitor with an auto clicker because that's going to do fun things to my computer. It seems that burning me through one week of time gets me about 2500 U gold. We only have to do that a few times to get the Dread Knight. So there he is. The unit after that is just a money symbol. Uh, I was kind of hoping there wasn't a new hero after that because this is going to be just forever chasing heroes. But we're going to buy him. So our DPS is going to go from 50,000 Octillion to 10,000 Nonillion. And for comparison, Frostleaf, who did the majority of our damage before, now does 0.4% of our total damage. And now enemies disappear pretty quickly. Let's try the boss without any power-ups. Yep, that's enough damage to just straight up build the boss very quickly with very little resistance. And you'll never guess who I just got gilded from my tentacle boss. The Dread Knight, so he gets extra damage. So he's covering 99.6% of our total DPS. Frostleaf, 0.3. The General, 0.04. Everyone after that, completely irrelevant. So even on level 251, the enemies are dying pretty much instantly. How about the boss on 265? It's a giant rat, and wow, that was a big step up in uh, competition, because he's not dying very quickly. We actually can't just straight up fight him. We got to use some of our powers. I can also upgrade Frostly for another 25 levels, which is going to get him 25 times damage. I could do it one more time. I might as well, because that's just going to add a ton of damage overall. He does 5% of my total DPS, so that was a considerable boost overall. But then again, just by clicking on him like that, that essentially doubled our DPS altogether. So we're just going to upgrade him. Well, three times is good enough for me. Now we can try the boss again. And yep, that difference was enough to just melt him. So he's gone and we're making quite a bit of money. So we're just going to keep on trucking. Uh, we're never going to kill him again. He's not worth my time. Remember when we were making like $1 per gold coin? Now we're making 1536 D, which I think is Decillion. Level 275 has another kitty cat with a force field. Hopefully this present gets uh, something good. George again. We're definitely not going to be able to kill the cat, but we do have 119 D to spend. So we're going to get... Well, quite a few upgrades for him. Actually, 10 levels. So if we save up a little bit more, we'll get 100% DPS for him. But even without that, that's enough to kill the kitty cat. There's another 14 hero souls, which brings us to level 280 for the bat that we're not quite going to be able to kill. But if I click this, we're going to get 100% DPS for the Dread Knight. And that's probably going to make enough of a difference to overpower the bat. And then we're back to regular idiots again. Until 285, where we have Primal King Stony Bloop for 15 hero souls, which give us almost 100 total. I don't think we're going to kill him without using a little bit of clicking. But once we started clicking, that was pretty easy. And we get another 10 levels for the Dread Knight. And maybe even the next five he needs for the next power up, which is true. Though now we get another 100% DPS for him. And we just keep going and going and going. Frostleaf is back down to 0.05% of our total DPS. We can get him 25, 25, and now he's up to 1% of our total DPS. So we're not going to upgrade him anymore. I honestly thought it would get to level 200 and then wouldn't be able to get any further. But now I'm on level 290 and I'm killing things without having to use any power still. That is, of course, thanks to my gems, but I thought it was going to have to restart. So level 300 has this adorable beaver with a tuft of hair. Woodchip the rodent. We get 16 hero souls for killing him, even though we already have 126 lined up. And for the first time, I realized what those do. Those would give me 10% damage each. So if I was to ascend and make it all the way back here, we'd be doing way, way more damage than we are now. You didn't know we can afford another 25 levels for the Dread Knight already? And... I didn't mean to do this, but we accidentally just warped through the level 300 boss. I wanted to have some fun with that to see how quickly we could kill him with all of our new power-ups. So we're still going to do that because I don't play by anyone else's rules but my own. Here's the level 300 button. There he goes. There he goes again, and he's dead again. And he's dead again. And again. And again. My auto click is not even on. While we're at it, we can kill the level 305 boss in the same flurry. I don't know what he is, but we're killing him quite quickly. So the level 310 boss is... Well, I don't know. Just look at it. It's whatever that thing is. It looks like a dish towel. Who doesn't seem to want to die. So let's get the Dread Knight an extra 100% DPS. Can't quite get 25 levels out of there yet. So what we're going to do is just wait for another 8 hours, very patiently, of course. And then get another 25 levels for the Dread Knight. Uh, we might actually need 50 to be able to get him to the next level, though. Well, this is still going to give him a lot of DPS. And then we're going to do the usual strategy of activating everything, at which point the Guardian dies in less than just over one second. And that's going to make me lots of money. So just imagine how much we're going to have when I let this run for like two more weeks. 